Hi everyone, Erin here from Real Wig Fun. Thanks so much for joining me. So today we're gonna to take a look at a brand new style from Noriko, and this is called Harlow, and I have Harlow in the color Melted Marshmallow. So stay tuned. So as always, I need to thank my friends from Wigs by Patty's Pearls for supplying this wig so I could bring a review for you today. So when I saw this style coming out from Noriko, I thought that this would be a great one to show you and to do a review on. I don't do very many reviews on Noriko styles, but why don't you stay tuned and I'll let you know my thoughts. So Noriko, as you can likely see, is a mid-length synthetic style. You cannot apply heat, it is not heat friendly, but it has lots of beautiful layers. I'm really liking the cut itself. I'm enjoying the fibers. The fibers feel really good. Many of you know that I typically gravitate towards synthetic HD fibers because to me, they feel and look more like human hair. But that said, the fibers on Harlow feel really fine. They feel very soft. So I'm really impressed by that. Why don't I go ahead and do a turn so that you can see Harlow on all sides. So clearly this is my friend. Um, you could get an ear tuck from it. I mean, the density allows you to do that. It feels a little bit puffy when I do that and stay tuned and I'll tell you why. So on the right, my right hand side, the back, my left hand side, and then back to the front. Because Harlow is a fully machine wefted cap, one thing that you have to be aware of is that you are going to get lots of permatease. Okay, so many of you know, for me personally, I prefer less volume in my styles. So I'm gonna get up close and show you, this does not have any lace front, fully machine wefted. You're not gonna get the illusion of scalp, but for those ladies that love volume, you can get volume out of Harlow. So if volume is your thing, stay tuned. So if I get up close, you can see there is the hairline, um, no lace front, and you don't really need the lace front by the way that these bangs are laying and they lay beautifully. When it did come out of the box, the part was a little bit further to the left and I felt it looked a little bit more um, attractive if I moved it slightly over closer to the center. So it's not in the center, it's just left of center right now. So because you've got a basic cap, you're not getting the illusion of scalp as you can clearly see. And I'm not sure if you can see, but there is a good amount of permatease. So for those of you that are not familiar what permatease is, is they are short kind of curly wiry hairs that are used to do a couple of things. Number one, to create volume. Number two, to hold the style. And number three, to cover wefting, okay? But typically when you have a style with a lot of permatease, you can also get a considerable amount of volume in comparison or versus having a full monofilament top. So just by getting my fingers in here, let me show you what I'm talking about, about how easy it is to create volume, if volume is what you're after, in a style that has as much permatease as this one does. So do you see simply by using my hands, you can get into the base of this to create a heck of a lot more volume if that's something that you're into. So let's talk about the, dim the dimensions on Harlow. Um, Harlow has an average size cap. I have a 22 inch circumference head and this is fitting me beautifully right outside the box. Um, these front sections here are seven and a half inches, which makes sense because my face is approximately seven inches from hairline to chin. The crown, which is this portion here, is 11 inches. The nape, which is measured right from the bottom of the nape down, is 9.4 inches. And altogether, this wig weighs, it, you know what, it shows a range, which I've never seen before. It shows that it weighs between 4.7 and five ounces. Let's talk about this color melted marshmallow because I think it's very unique and it's really pretty. So it's basically made up of three different shades. First, you have the rooting. As you can see, it's a rooted color and it's a dark, warm root, okay? Then it transitions into a warm, light blonde. And then can you see the tips that it transitions into, which are really white blonde tips? 
It's really a dynamic color. It's very unique and I think it's quite pretty. All right, let's go ahead and take Harlow off so that I can show you the inside of the cap. But before we do so, maybe I can give you a better close up to be able to see the what permatease looks like if you're not used to it. So do you see those rough textured hairs right at the base there? And the permatease is really all throughout this cap. So if you were to part it in other spots, you can, it's harder for you to see it that way. Um, but there is permatease all the way through this cap, which gives you the ability to be able to get lots of volume if that's your thing. So why don't I turn this cap inside out and you'll be able to see this is fully hand, or sorry, fully machine wefting, okay, along the top. You'll see there is no lace front. The wefting on the sides and on the back. You do have felt covered ear tabs with metal stays. You have hairs that are spliced into the ear tabs to help that wig look and lay um, very naturally at the side of your face. This wig doesn't have an extended nape um, and Noriko uses these bra strap like adjusters. So I didn't make any adjustments outside of the box. It came to me just about at the end. So what I would say is that this would probably fit max uh, 22 and a quarter inch circumference head. I think beyond that, it might be a little bit too snug. So you know what, overall, this is a really pretty style, but you have to be okay with permatease. Perhaps you're somebody, like I said earlier, that loves to play around with volume and be able to easily get that volume. If that's you, then this wig is made for you. For me personally, I'm not as much a big hair type of a girl, but I know that that looks amazing on many of you. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick look at Noriko's brand new Harlow in the color Melted Marshmallow. Stay well and stay safe. Bye everybody.